everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Ask Think for July of 2017. Guys, it is almost the 4th of July, and if I remember correctly, I, I feel like the last July Ask Think was on July 4th. Because I think I remember saying Happy July 4th. Anyway, Happy July 4th weekend to all of you in the U.S. who have, well, I guess most of you are out of school already, so not really a huge holiday thing. But anyway... Welcome to Ask Think, and the last month's question for you guys was if there was something you could do over or redo, what would it be and kind of like why? So Catrice just says something I would redo. Well, I would tell my grandparents, one on my mom's side and one on my dad's side, I love you. They're both gone now. I hope my little prayers do get heard by them. Ah, oh, and I, I kind of expected that there would be some of these that, you know, regrets for lost loved ones. And I'm so sorry to hear about your grandparents. Claw Runner says, for my do-over, I would make sure not to spill Gatorade all over my laptop about a year ago. RIP and Pieces Laptop 2015-2016. JPR says, I would go back in time and make sure my parents never introduced me to electronics so that I would always read and do work and play outside so that either I become a genius, a sports prodigy, or both. And by the time someone actually introduces electronics, I will be so used to not using them that I wouldn't want to use them. Noodle on, but then, then what about me? Huh? What about me? Oh, man, I shouldn't make it about me, should I? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. A fun and friendly name says, for the question for the month, if I could have a do-over in life, I'd redo, nope, nope, no, no, that would take too long to redo my entire life. I'd redo that other, te no, that is too typical. What would I redo? Uh, Ah, uh, I would say my life is fine, but who would let go of this opportunity? Actually, I would probably waste it on something lame like, Oh, I forgot to say no mayonnaise on my sandwich. Let me just go in and I'd waste it accidentally. Yeah, I'm just going to retake my last test. Vaughn Scout says, For July, I think there was this one time when I was in a Charlotte's Web play and we were doing the last dress rehearsal. There were people watching for the first time, so I, being a little seven-year-old, added extra stupidly unfunny lines I thought were funny. Also, there were people from church watching, and I said, God, multiple times, if I could redo one thing, I would redo that dress rehearsal. Oh, man. So, like, the first time you're on stage with people there, and, and oh, man, just, oh, I can imagine, like, the terror of being up there and everything you're saying just flopping and the horror on people's face. Okay, all right, enough, enough, enough. I'm starting to, I'm starting to want to do that over for you. Isa Base says, if I could do my life over, this is what I would do. It's kind of a long story, so bear with me. When I was in sixth grade, there was a dance on a riverboat that would go down a river and back for a night. And all the schools in the area were invited. After a lot of fast modern music, which I hate, came the slow dancing. The girls outnumbered the guys 20 to 1. Not kidding. Whoa. There was this one girl who I danced with for a while, and she asked for my phone number. I have no idea why, but I didn't give it to her. That was so stupid on uh, my first chance to get a girlfriend and I blew it two and a half years later a similar opportunity came and I responded quite differently well I mean okay so there's, there's good and bad right you, you could go and redo that and you might still have that girlfriend but maybe the new girlfriend that you have or the girlfriend that you have now maybe it was meant to be that you guys would uh, become boyfriend and girlfriend so maybe you had to go through that experience and learn from your mistake. And I'm proud of you for learning from your mistake. Well done, but sorry about the first time. Pizza Smeller 222 says, I'd do over how I start playing, started playing Pokemon so late. I've been playing it for two years, but I wish I'd started way back when it came out. Me too, because if I did way back then, I would get a lot less people calling me a Poke Noob. Uh, Probably not. <laughs> it's still a noob. <laughs> Exoskelebot says, my do over in life would be the first day I watched your video. Wait a minute. Where is this going? Are you going to say you don't want to watch? Oh, oh, okay. okay. Why well, may I ask? Well, when I was eight years old, I typed in a comment with my mom's account. I hate you because I was jealous of your membership on your Club Penguin account. I couldn't think of anything else. Wow. <laughs> so now, from now on, when I see those comments, because I get those on every single video, probably even this one. I'll think they hate me because of something else, not something I said or anything like that. It could be the fact that, I don't know, that I have Minecraft or whatever. Now for me, the do-over, you guys can probably predict this if you've been around my channel for a little while. And if I could do one thing over, I would 
start my channel name as Think Noodles rather than Insiders Network. That thing that is just going to haunt me for the rest of my life, guys. It really is the fact that my URL is, you know, YouTube slash user slash Insiders Network rather than YouTube slash user slash Think Noodles, and they cannot change it. Ah, oh, what I would give to do that over. Now for next month's question, GeekboyCR says, for the next Ask Think, say YouTube decided they needed a do-over. Then they deleted all YouTube channels from Markiplier to Jacksepticeye to Smosh and the Fine Brothers. Every channel is deleted and everyone has to start over, including you. How would you start up your new channel? And that goes for all of you guys. YouTube started over from scratch. You had a chance to get into the ground floor and start a channel. What would you do? Now, before we get to the questions for me, I want to remind you to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something fun to answer in the next episode. Remember, only one question per comment, but you can leave as many comments as you like. Also, if the comments on this Ask Think are closed, go to the most recent Ask Think and ask your question there. And the first one comes to us from Sam the Mule, which says, why is the comments black? And that's on the last episode. I was using a different browser that was in dark mode on YouTube. And that's why they were black. They're back to white because it's a little weird, I'm sure. And uh, also, Sam, I actually, he lives in Australia and I met him and his family here in New York the other day. And, uh, and yeah, and and and, and, I, and as soon as he introduced himself to Sam, I was like, I know your avatar. I've been seeing it for years on my channel. So good to meet you. Now, uh, Gamer Gav asks a related question. It says, hey, Think Noodles, I know this is a big question. Not for Ask Think. Well, but it was on Ask Think and now it's on it. Anyway, when I'm going to New York, I would love to see you because you were the YouTuber got me into YouTube plus YouTuber got me into Minecraft and get a YouTube account, but like a year or two after. Then I went on my Wii 2 and then Wii U and I misclick for half a second. I'm subscribed a lot. I subscribed. So anyway, I misclick again. Moving on. <laughs> Can you try to see me too? Uh, even though you don't see this, I would have been upset if I didn't try. Um, so I guess you're probably not here anymore and I'm sorry that I missed you, but Back to Sam the Mule and also your question, um, the way that he found us, I guess, is uh, he and his family were looking for golden retrievers and uh, they just would find a golden retriever and ask its name and one of them happened <laughs> to be Kofi. So Blaze Blade asks, how do you feel when you meet your fans? Well, first of all, um, and it's not nervous, but I feel almost like awestruck that you guys want to meet me um and it, it's it, it's uh it's very fulfilling and it makes me makes me really happy to meet you guys um i'm always happy to meet my fans and i'm always shocked when i do because i'm like they, they really do like they're they're actually like they're actually people kids in this world that like are really excited to meet me and some of you are super nervous um, to meet me and I, I try my best to make you comfortable, but, um, but I, you know what? I, I'm probably more excited than anything else. I'm always super excited to meet you guys. Lord of Pigs asks, yo, think what's your fave car? And if you guys have been, uh, checking out my Instagram and my Twitter, you know that I, we just got a new car and that's my favorite car right now. We got it. We got a Tesla Model S, so we are fully embracing our commitment to uh, renewable energy and the environment and really, really cool tech. <laughs> and uh, if you guys also saw on Twitter, we, my wife and I were having an argument because, well, not a real argument, but we were having we, we were having a discussion about what the car's name should be. And my wife wanted to name it Tess for Tesla, and I wanted to name it Rotom or Rotom. Um, which I never know how to pronounce properly, but I was talking to my wife's cousin who played tons of Pokemon, and he said it's Rotom. I say it's Rotom. Anyway, um, so we set up a poll, and actually Tesla themselves <laughs> responded to the poll and told us it needed to be called Rotom. So I think the car has spoken, but yeah, that's my favorite car right now. Jay Pierre says, Justin, do you watch all your videos after you make them? Yes, I do. Um, I... Uh, I usually replay them after I've rendered them. S I still make mistakes. <laughs> Sometimes I'll watch like the first 10 minutes like, okay, this looks good. This is where I did most of my edits. I'm done. And then at the end of the video, there might be a mistake or two. But yes, I do watch all my videos after I make them. And recently, more and more, I'm watching them from beginning to end. Nate Mallard asks, this is a bit personal, but you haven't planned. Children, it would be cool to think about little noodles running around playing Minecraft. 
yes, we are planning to have children uh, now that my wife's out of training and she's like actually an attending and everything and she doesn't have to have overnight call or anything like that. Our lives, and we've got our own house now, our lives are in a point where we think that we're ready to have kids. Not immediately, but pretty soon. GamerGirl146 has asks, have you ever had your wisdom teeth removed? If so, what was the experience like? I may have to find cold. Uh, no, I haven't, but I'm supposed to actually get two of mine out and actually I was supposed to get them out like a year ago. But I've been putting it off. Uh, <laughs> I know my sisters had them out and basically the experience that I can remember from her was ice cream all day every day. So for like three days. So that part sounds pretty awesome. Ruben Martin asks, do you remember the school you attended in Indonesia? Yes, it was JIS. Logan Kerr asks, question for July. So, since you live in New York, have you ever heard of the YouTuber Casey Neistat? If so, have you ever seen him walk around the streets and film for his channel? Yes, I do know who Casey is, of course. Um, and yes, I have seen him walk around the streets. And yes, if you look through his vlogs, it might take a while, it was winter like a year ago. Um, Kofi is in one of his videos. Uh, you, you'll see her uh, just walk by with some doggy boots on. Kinley McCowan asks, does Kofi use a puppy pad? Yeah, no, 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 gosh, no, 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 no. She, okay, so Kofi's a golden retriever, right? And she weighs about 65 pounds. So you could imagine that a 65 pound dog has 65 pound well, not 65 pound excretion, but, but like, <laughs> but when she pees and she poops, it, it's a 65 pound dog versus a six pound dog. So there are, you know, scale, right? So when a 65 pound dog goes pee, there's a lot of pee, like more pee than would go in a pee pee pad. So no, she's never, ever used one. And Kopi only goes to the bathroom outside. <sighs> Uh, so Kenda Hamilton asks, do you have any advice for people who just got a dog? I just got mine. I have no idea what to do. Um, yes. Feed it. Give it water. Because dogs need that sort of thing to live. So if you haven't figured that out and you asked that five days ago. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. I know what you mean. Uh, <laughs> you mean training wise. For Kopi, what we did is actually we never used pee pads at all. We only took her outside because we just didn't want to encourage her to ever go to the bathroom in the house ever and the other thing we did was we crate trained her and we got her a crate that was big enough for her when she was grown but uh but we put boxes in it so that it made it smaller when she was small so that she had like an area she could turn around and stuff uh but it was an area where she couldn't walk to the back of the cage and pee and that was huge in housebreaking her and we would just, anytime we left the house or at night when she would sleep, she would sleep in the crate. And then as soon as she comes out of the crate, we go straight outside and she would go to the bathroom and it did a really, really good job. We house broke her very, very quickly. And Kopi hasn't had an accident in the house in probably, I don't even remember, maybe six or seven years. <laughs> Shreya Zutchi asked, what made you decide to get to Golden Retriever as a pet? Rochelle did. Uh, that's my wife <laughs> for those of you guys who don't know um yeah she had never had a dog before and she always loved golden retrievers and i'd had dogs growing up but never a golden retriever i'd actually never had a big dog before but that's what rochelle wanted and that's what we got and i'm so happy because Kofi is amazing i kanye west want a thousand subscribers well i hope you get that kanye uh will you ever have merch if you will when well, Kanye, I, um, it's good to talk to you, actually. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of starstruck here. Uh, yeah, no, I do have merch. You can find a link to the merch in the description below. Daniel Beto asks, why don't you challenge yourself and change your color and logo color to pink? Because it'll be fun to have those challenges. Or you can do a poll about which color. Um, it's not really a challenge, but I, I I'm just going to. So the, it's funny you chose the color pink because it rhymes with pink. And I guarantee you, if I made my logo pink, there would be hashtag pink noodles everywhere. <laughs> Comments, uh, Twitter, Instagram, pink noodles, pink noodles, pink noodles.
Coolman23 has says, Hey, think, how did you come up with the idea for sometimes? P.S. I'm your biggest fan, Noodle On. Well, uh, when I when I first started the project, uh, I I wanted to use that song, and I started writing the lyrics, and that is kind of where the entire thing came from, right? Because uh, I'd written the lyrics almost entirely before I hired the animator, and then the animator and I worked a lot, probably for a couple of months, going back and forth on each of the scenes and how to interpret the lyrics. And it sort of came out as a collaboration between the two of us as to, you know, that it was gamer focused um, and it was always going to be a love story, but it was gamer focused. It was always supposed to be between my wife and I, but um, the way that we met and then the college setting, uh, that sort of came out of the collaboration. Jackson Backus asks, my question is, why don't you do videos with Stampy? Well, I've done a couple few videos with Stampy, but he's a busy, busy guy. I'm kind of busy too, and he's got like a whole crew of uh, people that he records with. But um, whenever he asks, I definitely uh, hang out with him. Mahira Kitagawa asks, I'm a huge fan. I've been watching you since day one. I have a few questions actually, but this one is, Thanks Lab had so many fans. I'm doing so well on views. Why cut the series? I talked about this before, um, and it's funny. You know, you, you remember things maybe differently, or sometimes people remember things differently than what they actually were. And this might be one of those times that a lot of people are remembering with nostalgia, right? So uh, back when I was doing Think Slab, I was doing it twice a week, and it was running me into the ground. Uh, the videos would take, the you know, if it was on, it was on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and it would take me half of Tuesday just to set up for the video and then probably another couple hours on Wednesday to set up and then a couple of hours to record it and then a few hours to edit it and so basically everything's lab video would take me two days so that would be Tuesday and Wednesday and Friday and Saturday running it twice a week so four days of my week was spent on two videos and I had to make at least five other videos right because I had at least one video per day sometimes two and so then I had three days to make five videos or usually actually seven videos because two on the weekends. And then I was rushing through all of my other videos and it was, you know, the things labs were good, but the rest of my content was suffering a lot. And as time went on, people started to complain. Like you see the complaints now a lot um, that you, you do too much Pokemon um, and it, it's, it was, you do too much Things Lab. Everything's about Things Lab. Um, and you're right, it was popular and it was doing well. But over time, people just got tired of it and they lost interest like twice a week, over and over. People were like, eh, another one. Um, so yes, I do have some Things Labs with millions of views. Those are from the beginning and it's also because they've accumulated those views over many years. Now, by the end of the series, the videos in a week's time, we're barely crossing over 100,000 views. And to put that much time and effort into those videos that really weren't getting much attention or interest anymore, um, there, it wasn't worth it to make all my other videos worse and just sort of have those as fillers and then um, let the rest of my content suffer. Also, me suffering, uh, trying to find mods that would be interesting and builds and um, and coming up with plot lines and everything was becoming more and more of a struggle um, as you know the, the content in Minecraft itself dried up. So that is why. <laughs> Goodness, that was long. And also, so the next couple are kind of the same. They're like, you don't watch that much Minecraft or you don't play that much Minecraft. All you do is Pokemon. Um, can you start something else? Especially, you know, they're both asking for a new series other than Roblox and Pixelmon. Um, or Roblox and Pokemon and so here's the thing I don't want to start any new series because that's the problem right the problem is that I've got um, you know I've got kind of like a Roblox series of general Roblox games I've got a, a brick bronze series I got a Pixelmon series and all of those people want to see those because they're series they want to see the next episode they want to see the 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 next video and it obligates me to make videos on that twice a week, probably. Uh, generally, my series are twice a week. And if I were to start another series, that would just, it would it, it would force me into making those for those series. I want to make other videos 
on other games, but not necessarily series, just one-offs. So that way, one day, I can be like, oh, Tuesday, what am I gonna play today? Ah, whatever, I'll just choose anything. And I like the flexibility of that, and also the variety that I could provide to you guys. So I don't really want to start a series because it's going to lock me into that series and then people are going to be like, oh, but you... What was that? Oh, it was a throwing star fidget spinner. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but yeah, I don't want people to um, to, to, to feel like I'm, I've got these series and that I'm not maintaining them anymore uh, because that's the problem. I start too many series and I would be much better off just playing games randomly uh, as I want to and as you guys want to see. Smashing Cat asks, think how did you get on the murder mystery video, get detective and murderer so many times? Uh, well, there's two reasons. One is the fact that as a YouTuber, you get higher percentage of getting those things each time you play. Uh, the, the, the rate that you are going to be the murderer, the percentage goes up higher than normal. The other way is um, editing. So in the video that you guys saw that I did like was like a week and a half, two weeks ago, um, the it might look like I did it all in a row, but there were a few times where I played like maybe three or four times as an innocent, but those aren't as interesting as detective and murderer, so I just cut them out. Shriya Zachi asks, which is worse, your hands falling asleep or your feet? I don't even have to think about this one for one second. It's your hands. Because your feet, like my feet aren't as sensitive, and maybe that's like weird and my feet are gonna fall off when I get old, but um, my hands are a lot more sensitive. So when they fall asleep, it feels like they're like so fat. It feels like, it, I, I hate that feeling. I hate that feeling. Kirsten Tweenstra says, you paint answer employment contest testimony. <gasps> No one's ever said anything so rude before in my life. I can't believe this. I would have quit YouTube. <laughs> no, I have no idea what that means, guys. <gasps> All right, that's it for this episode of Ask Think. Don't forget to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer in the next episode, which will be the first Monday of the month. Not the first of the month, necessarily. Could be but maybe not. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and please do become an alert today and subscribe. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line.